Well, let's look at the navigation um, first question. We're given our intended sea passage from Auckland Pilot Station to a given waypoint, then a rum line to the northwest limit of the southern winter seasonal zone, which we have here on the um, data sheet given. Then we have to go parallel sailing until we can enter the zone as soon as the summer period applies. Once we've done that, we then go a great circle to our position here and then finally another 40 miles coastal. So with two lots of coastal, with a run line, parallel sailing and great circles, all the different sailings in one, so quite a, an interesting question. Assuming universal time applies to all the load line dates, what's the earliest time and date we can enter the southern winter seasonal zone? Well, we've got it here. Zero, zero, zero hours on the 16th of October. That's written there. Then the distance to steam prior to commencing the Great Circle. OK, and it were told that we're going to disembark the pilot at 0800 hours standard time. So we depart 0800 standard time. Because we're told the other times are in universal time, we must convert that to universal time. So we depart 2000 hours on the 9th. This is just my own workings. Earliest time 0000 on the 16th. Total steam in time available 148 hours. Our speed is, is given at 16.5 knots, so we will steam 2,442 miles. OK, so that's the uh, distance to steam. Then we need the position that the Great Circle can commence. So the Great Circle will commence when we've done the full 2,442 miles. So we've, initially we have our rum line. Well, initially we've got the coastal um, value uh, the 50 let's have a look we're told initially we've got the 56 miles so we've got 56 miles then with the run line value and by Mercator sailing I worked that out at 744 miles so we've traveled 800 of the 2442 so by parallel sailing we've got 1642 so it's crucial now that we work out from that position the D long to apply because of course the latitude isn't changing and once we've got the D long we can apply that to the waypoint and that will give us our great circle uh, position so the D long I calculated at 32 degrees 37.8 so obviously we'll be 33 south and we've got the 170 west and of course we subtract that 32 37.8 so that gives us 137.22 to west. So now we've got these three distances and I've just tagged on the 40 just so I don't forget at the end and the great circle. So we've got the two positions and then just use the great circle formula and I find or well, my calculations gave me a distance of 2979.6. So adding all the distances together I got 5 461.6 and uh, that was my total distance okay and I should have just tagged on 40 miles there if, but if you add on the 40 miles you'll get 5461.6 so that was the total distance that I got including all the all the distances so that's an interesting question involving all the sailings um, but really I, I think once you read it it looked quite daunting at first but once you read it and just got a, an understanding of what was required, I thought quite a reasonable question.